Yo, what is going on guys? This is Black Eagle from Snake Peter, back with a brand new video. Today guys, I'm going to be running you through 10 tips to help you win with randoms on Ranked. I hope these 10 tips do help as you progress higher into the rankings. Some of these tips may become less relevant, so things like communication and whatnot, because you probably will have a team by then. But in the lower rankings and as you build up in the rankings towards Plat and Diamond and whatnot, you're probably going to be looking at helps, uh, tips to help you out as you get higher up because you're having to play a lot more games solo so if you do enjoy this video make sure you hit the like button comment down below any tips you think that will help out anybody else and please subscribe i'm going to make these tips go through them nice and quick um so you're not hanging about for too long so yeah i will go straight into it now so tip number one legends think who work well together or offer out legends you want to be thinking right if i can see someone is ready to play pathfinder and i'm first pick either talk offer him out and say look take pathfinder i'll pick someone else if they are communicating with you if not play someone different because you want them to be playing their number one legend if your third pick it's important that you look at the two other legends that your teammate have picked and then think all oh, right who will work well with lifeline and uh maybe i don't know rafe for example who works well um pathfinder for example would probably be a good combo for them don't pick too many legends that are very similar, like don't have three defensive legends because you are going to need a bit more mobility. Okay, so tip number one, legends. Tip number two, communication. Talk at all times. This is basic. This is things that will happen more and more as you get into the higher rankings. But even if you do not have a microphone, pinging is a massive thing to do. But if you do have a microphone, obviously I recommend you definitely have one. If you're a bit nervous, just put it on anyway. Because if you've got a teammate that's talking, honestly, communication is a massive deal with this game. I talk to my teammates, whether they're there or not. I will just yell stuff because I know for a fact it's either going to go through their TV or they actually have a microphone they're just not talking to me so they are going to hear it communication is massive so tip number two communication tip number three jump master so when you'll be when you got jump master you either want to be suggesting where to land or if you are the jump master be confident my top tip would be jump early because let not many people jump early people seem to wait towards the end thinking right let's work out where the most busy places are and then they end up leaving it too late be confident jump early and get yourself a position nice and quick where you're going to get good loot so yeah tip number three is the jump master tip number four is ping loot and guns you need to be pinging loot and guns left right and center okay so if you say you land you've already got your body armor on ping some body armor have a little look down at the bottom left has my teammate got body armor has my teammate got a gun are they running around with their fists still ping whatever you see because people have different preferences people enjoy different guns and say main different guns better than other ones so if you say for example run past the havoc and you don't ping it and your teammate is actually in love with the havoc then they're not going to find it and then they're going to struggle for the rest of the game so you need to be pinging things, especially attachments and whatnot, because attachments are a big deal in this game. An extended mag could be the difference in a fight. So tip number four, ping loot and guns. Tip number five, share loot if you get a kill. Now, if you get a kill, obviously I know I would, I personally myself, once again, yes, I would go straight in and get first dibs on the loot. Everybody does it, you know, it, it's just instinct. You know, you run in, you think, right, I just got this kill. I want the loot. But if you say, for example, pick up a purple body armor, ping the blue one, okay? You just see there's some light ammo in there and you know for a fact your teammate has a light gun, ping the light because sometimes people won't go and look in the loot crates because they think, oh, right, you've just rinsed everything out of there. Make sure you are pinging everything that's in there and make sure you ping in the heels as well, for example. Obviously, you want to get as many heels as possible because in this game, in ranked especially, you need a lot of heels, but ping them out because okay, it will help in the long run if you make sure your teammates are grabbing the loot that is actually available because if they don't pick up the loot then then they are definitely going to suffer in the late game so tip number five share loot from the loot crates tip number six revive teammates when safe to do so now this is a big one some people that i know randoms they'll ping they ping they ping and they'll be like pick me up pick me up pick me up ignore it only pick them up when it's safe to do so if you have to leave them because they've done a stupid push leave them 
do not think you have to get yourself in a situation where you're going to die. End of the day, once again, ranked is so, so critical that you need to be alive for the late game. So if you go down, okay, if, for example, you could lose a teammate and there's still two of you. If you risk it going for a heal when you know they're nearby, it's pointless because then you've just got one teammate left who's more likely to die and there's going to be no chance of getting into the top three. So tip number six, revive teammates when safe to do so. Tip number seven, try recover the banner. Okay, so when I say try recover the banner, if your teammate has just died and you, you're, you've got a chance to get that banner back, maybe there's a fight still going on and you can quickly pick up your teammate's banner, definitely do it, okay? Because in ranked, people do not leave like they do in normals, okay? A lot of the time, especially in the higher rankings, again, because they lose more points, they will not leave the game. They will sit there. I will sit there if I die and watch the whole entire game. So if you pick up my banner, you, there is a very good chance that that teammate is going to be able to help you out in the late game if you go and get them. If you don't get their banner, they will stay, stay still. They'll just watch. But you'll probably get a little bit of a bitchy message if you don't get them any points at the end of the game because you didn't recover their banner. So tip number seven is try recover the banner. Tip number eight. Predict your teammates' movements. So you need to try your best to work out when you think your teammate is pushing. If you see your teammate ping something like enemy here, enemy here, and they start walking towards it, call them out. Okay, call it out. Say, say for example, I'm healing. I'm like, mate, I do not push, do not push. Keep saying it because there's a chance that they actually might listen. If you don't call it out and just sit there quietly, then there's a good chance they're going to carry on pushing and they're going to die. And then you might get a shitty message saying, why did you not push with me? Um, you might get anything like that. But it's better for you to try and call it out and predict your teammates' movements. If you want to push, call it out and hopefully you can check the mini-map and see your teammate is coming with you. So you do have that support. But yeah, you just need to predict your teammates' movement. As hard as it can be, that is the difference from winning and losing a game. If you can see your teammate is going to push with you, you've got this in a bag. If you can see your teammates pushing, but you're not ready, call it out. Do not let them push by themselves. So tip number eight, predict your teammates' movements. Tip number nine, don't go off solo. Now, this is a massive one because no one wants to play a game where they have to just sit in a bush to try and get the points. Nobody gets to the top rankings by doing this. Fair enough, you have to do it once or twice in your like ranking career. I've had to do it my fair share. A few of us have had to camp in trees, you know, just to get those points so you don't get minus. But if you're confident, okay, ping the way that you want to go. Just keep pinging. Let's go this way. Let's go that way. Okay, and hopefully your teammates will see, all right, he's confident. Let's follow him. Try and be the leader. If you're not, say you're not a confident player, allow one of your teammates to lead. Try and ping wherever he's going and maybe make us a few suggestions like, oh, let's go maybe this way and whatnot okay do not go off by yourself because that is the most stupid thing you can do okay if your teammate runs off by himself and you and an up the other guy stay together well that other guy that's just gone off solo has literally just lost the game for himself there's literally no point in doing that so make sure guys tip number nine don't go off solo and my final tip guys my final tip tip number 10 okay if you win the game with your teammates Okay, you've just won the game with these randomers. It's such a big one. Why not play with them again? So many times I just jump in game chat and I go, hey guys, we just smashed it. Do you guys want to like match up together? Let's let's group. If you guys stick together in a group, you just got yourself a brand new team. You just maybe got yourself a new group of friends. This will help you massively in the long run because if you work well as a team, you might have just found yourself some new teammates for your future ranking games. Don't just let them leave. Don't, you, I mean, if you got to go, you got to go, you know. But you can always add people as friends. You can always say, would you like to play another game with me? They say no, fair enough, sod them. I was better than them anyway, you know. But those are another one, you know. So tip number 10, group up with your teammates if you work well. Um, anyway, those are my 10 top tips. I hope that has helped you guys, okay. I've tried to fire them out as much, uh, as quick as possible with giving as much information and details as possible. So if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Comment down below if you've got any tips, as I say, anything you want me to cover. 
and please subscribe because any support is amazing at the moment and I really do appreciate it. Apart from that guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one.